What's happening, people? Welcome back to the Back by Channel TV. We're here, box settings again. Very thankfully, very luckily, in this lovely position. But I have to say, and we will say, let's be honest about this. All right, let's be honest about that performance, about the result. I'll tell you what, we're not going to be negative. We are through to the, the next round of the cup. Uh, you know, that's the most important thing. We are through to the next round of the cup. That's all that matters. We are on the hat for the fourth round, which we know will be against Chelsea here at St James's Park. I feel like the lighting's better the way, but the background's better that way. So I'm sure you'll prefer that nice green grass instead of those doors in front of me. So I tell you what, it's Chelsea here in just over a couple of weeks' time. <laughs> We're going to have to play a lot better than that if we get through. But I'm not worried because we always play better in the bigger games against the bigger sides. We always struggle against teams like that today. We always do. He, I was saying this to Steve Watson last night, we had a chat off air, he's made seen it in another video, an extended one in the future, where against Man City, I know we're going to turn up, I just know we are going to give 100%, the crowd's going to be dead up for it, it's on TV, all the rest of it. It's games against Buddy Brighton in a few weeks time, 3 o'clock on a Saturday, it's games against Fulham away. The other week, Saturday 3 o'clock, that worry me. Not Man City at home, not Liverpool at home, none of that. I know we are going to turn up for that and we are going to fight for it and go for it. Tonight, listen, it's difficult. It's a difficult one tonight because, if we're being honest, you know, against Wimbledon, they are and they did put every single player behind the ball. As you'd expect, they are a league to sides. So they are going to put everyone behind the ball. They're going to make life difficult for us. We're going to have to break them down. We obviously end up making seven or eight changes in that game. Tonight, uh, you know, the likes of Jonathan, Shaw, Barnes kept the place, but the majority of them were changed. Obviously, all eyes were on William Sula in this game, uh, and he didn't really get any service. I don't want to hound out the lad too much, but he didn't really get much service, did he? You know, he didn't have too much to feed off. He did have the one chance that really stood out in the second half where he went through and he put the ball into the side netting. But our first shot on target was the penalty. And was Fabian Shaw's opener, the one and only goal of the game. So that doesn't look great. Uh, Shaw, that gives us the one to lead in the half time. And you're thinking, right, okay, we've broken them down. Now Wimbledon, the game's going to open up a little bit. We'll bring on Bruno, Captain Bruno, at half time. And you think, right, things are going to change yeah. Things are going to get better. And they did get better, but we did still end the 90 minutes with only four shots on target, one of them being a penalty. So, listen, I've got to be honest with you, as the title says, that was crap tonight. That was awful. It really, really was. It was a painful, freezing watch. You know, that was a cold, crappy watch there to start October, to be honest with you. It was not good enough. And I feel sorry for a lot of the fans, a lot of the kids that obviously kind of get tickets to the games, that only get a chance to come to this one, uh, you know, where they don't get a chance to come to the league games it's always sold out that looked like a sellout for me tonight I don't know what the attendance is but all the level 7 up there was sold out you know Wimbledon fans above us in good voice and well done the Wimbledon fans before the game with their banner saying thank you to an army for the donations that we've gave to their club for the flooding at their stadium and all that that was good crack very good but uh, I've got to say you know the performance just wasn't up to speed it wasn't up to scratch it was at the Car Carabao Cup or the Salah Cup Carabao Cup or the Sella Cup, the League Cup or pre-season, because it felt like really pre-season to me that, it did feel like pre-season to me that, it was slow, sideways, quite pathetic to be honest with you, this is League 2 Wimbledon now, 4th Division, let's not say League 2 because League 2 makes it sound better than it is, it's 4th Division, it's Wimbledon, you know, no matter who we're putting out, it's William Asula or Isaac. Oh, wait, it's got to be bad. Anthony Gordon finishes on the pitch there. We'll make some strong subs. Dan Bain comes on for sure. Lewis Hall comes on. You know, some strong subs there. That team's decent. It's not like we've played all the kids. You know, it's not like the reserves are playing. There's no Sanusi out there. There's no, I don't know, Alfie Harrison. Alex Murphy. There's no youngsters out there. It's a very solid team. And listen, I don't want to be negative because we're through, through the cup. Listen, positively, we're through the cup. Fantastic. Fourth round here in Chelsea. I honestly fancy we're more against Chelsea than I did tonight. Because I'm telling you, we'll turn up against Chelsea. The crowd will be rocking, the atmosphere will be up, the players will be up for it. Tonight, with the players, with a lot of them, it's chalk and cheese compared to what we've seen on Saturday, isn't it, against Man City? 
it's a completely different story. And, you know, the effort, the energy levels, everything from the Man City game to now, it's completely different. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's night and day, literally, because it was 12 30 the day, and now it's really 9.51 at night. So, yeah, quite literal, that. But I, I, at this point, performance, I predicted a, a 4 0 win tonight. And listen, the first off, I was fine with that, but you know, I wouldn't have put behind the ball. The penalties give with the lead, that's fine. Second off, I thought we'd come out, test the a bit more, get the crowd going a bit more, create some attacks, have a go, and we'd end up winning three or four. Wasn't the case, never seen that the night, did we? Uh, it was a penalty as well, by the way, it was the old school one, wasn't it? We waited for the linesman to put his flag up. The referee didn't give it, the linesman did. Almron goes down after someone else before him, I can't remember who it was now. Went down, that one wasn't given. Armour then goes down, that was given. Even an eight, I mean, the ch chances for like Miggy. Bond started the eight on the left. <laughs> we didn't see enough of anyone. Not just singing about Miggy, Bond, everyone. Didn't do enough. Do you know what I mean? And like I said, I was really excited to see Asula, but everyone in that crowd was thinking, 10, 10, 12 million on this kid. And he didn't want to be harsh on him because he, he didn't really get much service, didn't get much chances. The one he did have was putting the side netting. But uh, listen, we didn't get caught tonight. We wouldn't have made it difficult. We put everyone behind the ball. But let's finish on a positive. We have been honest throughout, as always, here on the Magpie Channel TV. And let me know your comments below. I know there's a lot of honesty in the uh, social media as well. But the main thing for me is, listen, it was it was difficult. It was going to be tough. But we've got the job done. And we're through the next round. And that is another home draw for a change. That is a fourth round tie here on the 30th of October, I believe. That'll be the Wednesday night against Chelsea. We play Chelsea twice in a few days because on the Sunday we go to Stamford Bridge so that'll be interesting Chelsea are banging form 